Thomarite is a leader in the manufacture of walk-in coolers and freezers for the food service, institutional, and environmental industries. With this fine tradition of quality, customer service, and reliability, you can rest assured that you made the right decision when you bought Thermalright. In the next few minutes, we will number on the blueprint. Follow the blueprint to lay out the panels near where they will be needed. Be careful not to damage the finish on the side of the panel or the gasket material. Sweep the installation area to remove dirt and debris. If you're installing the walk-in near a wall, allow air space between the existing building walls and the walls of the walk-in. The air circulation will reduce moisture and help prevent frost buildup. For freezers, allow at least two inches of air space to create an air gap, which will help reduce potential condensation buildup. Coolers need at least one inch of space. When you're installing a walk-in with the Thermal Right manufactured floor panels, use your blueprint to lay out the panels correctly. Use a transit or large level to be sure that the manufactured floor panel is level as it is being installed. If the building floor is not level, the walk-in will not be level. Use shims to level the floor panels. Lift each panel with a pry bar and insert the shims between the floor panel and the uneven finished floor until the floor panels are completely level. Please note, shims should be on 24-inch centers at the panel joint if possible. Remember, if the walk-in is for a freezer application, Thomal Wright recommends that caulk be used between the floor panels and all exterior wall and ceiling panel joints. Use a 5 16th inch hex wrench provided to cam lock the floor panels together. Make sure that the ends are flush. Tighten each cam lock to a dead stop. You'll be able to feel the cam bring the panels tightly together. For cam lock walls to floors, follow the same steps for walls to ceiling installations. Let's take a look at how to install a cam lock ceiling. Remember that a cam lock ceiling is put up as the wall panels are assembled. Check the blueprint to find the panel that mates with the first corner panel. Remember that if you are installing a freezer, Thermal Right recommends that caulk be used in the outside seams of all floor, wall, and ceiling panels. While pressing the edges together, cam lock the panels to each other. Start with the top cam lock and work down. Make sure the wall tops are even. Repeat the operation to extend the wall toward the second corner. Check the blueprint to get the correct wall panels. Check to be sure each wall panel is tight against the previous one. Once the second corner is complete, Construct the next two walls, the ones that face each other, at the same time. Add a panel to one, and then the other, and so on. Lift the first ceiling panel up into place. The groove in the ceiling panel will fit onto the tongue on top of the wall panel. Lock the trailing cam locks at positions 1 and 2. Before installing the next ceiling panels, check the blueprint to see if ceiling support plates are required. Ceiling support plates are designed to connect an overhead support structure by means of threaded 3 8 inch rods. If ceiling support plates are needed, nail them into position using the hardware provided. After each ceiling panel is in place, make sure that the ceiling panel seams and wall panel seams are aligned. Lock the cams between the ceiling panels, position 3, and then lock the side cams at positions 4 and 5. When installing the door frame panel, remove the bottom shipping brace before attempting to install floorless, cooler freezers and freezers with optional heaters in the bottom of the door plug. Freezers with four-sided heaters do not have shipping braces. Do not remove the heater track which contains the heating element. Install a door frame panel just as you would any other standard wall panel. Place the last ceiling panel on top of walls, then cam lock to the matching wall panels to complete the installation. When installing the last ceiling panel, if the fit seems to be too tight, it may be necessary to go back to the adjacent wall panels and uncam the locks. This will allow you to easily insert the last ceiling panel. 
Remember to tighten all of the cam locks once the last panel is in place. When the walk-in setup is complete, the masking may be removed at this time. Follow the blueprint to measure out and snap the first chalk line for the outside wall dimensions. Determine the location of the starting or first corner. We'll call this point A. To make a square corner, plot out a triangle using the rule of geometry that says a triangle with 6 to 8 to 10 proportions has a square corner. Starting at point A, measure 8 feet down. This will become the second leg of the triangle. Draw a short line parallel to the first line at the 8-foot mark. Then, measure 6 feet down the first line from point A to determine point B. Hold the end of your tape measure at point B and position the tape so that the 10-foot mark intersects the line drawn earlier. This becomes point C. Establish the overall dimensions from corner to corner. Then measure diagonally to ensure you have perfect square corners before you chalk the remaining lines. Use points A and C as a reference to snap the second chalk line. Continue working in this manner until all of the lines are snapped. When laying out the alignment strips, be sure to leave a minimum 4-inch gap at each corner for the corner return. Alignment strips must be fastened to the building floor with a stud gun or concrete anchor. Once the alignment strips are in place, begin installing the walls. Select the starting corner wall panel and consult the blueprint for placement. Check the blueprint to find the panel that mates with the first corner panel. Remember that if you are installing a freezer, Thermal Right recommends that caulk be used in the outside seams of all floor, wall, and ceiling panels. Set the bottom of the wall panel over the alignment strip and complete the first corner by putting the second panel into place. Adjust the position of the two panels so they are flush at the top. While pressing the edges together, cam lock the panels to each other. Start with the top cam lock and work down. Make sure the wall tops are even. Repeat the operation to extend the wall toward the second corner. Check the blueprint to get the correct wall panels. Check to be sure each wall panel is tight against the previous one. Once the second corner is complete, construct the next two walls, the ones that face each other, at the same time. Add a panel to one, and then the other, and so on. Construct the final wall, moving from one corner to the other. In most cases, the final wall panel to be installed should be a corner panel. Door frame panels may be shipped with or without the door pre-hung due to the size. Let's look at how to install a door frame panel. Remember, remove the bottom shipping brace before attempting to install floorless cooler freezers and freezers with optional heaters in the bottom of the door plug. Freezers with four-sided heaters do not have shipping braces. Do not remove the heater track which contains the heating element. In general, install a door frame panel just as you would any other standard wall panel. Next, let's look at the pre-hung Thermal Right walk-in door. The flush mount self-closing door comes standard with a door closure, one spring-loaded hinge, deadbolt handle, and magnetic gasket to ensure a tight seal. The door is framed with a fiberglass protrusion, and the door frame panel has an aluminum extruded frame. Complete the walk-in installation with the following finishing work. Install a snap-in plug into each of the cam lock holes. If the walk-in you are installing does not use a thermal and out. Walk-ins that have opening for display doors, rear feed display merchandisers, etc. are required to have bulkhead angle support brackets installed to prevent the wall from bowing out and provide additional support. Have all the necessary electrical work performed by a licensed professional electrician in accordance with national, state, and local codes. All outdoor installations, please write or give us a call. Thermal Right, a leader in the walk-in industry with plants in California, Minnesota, and Tennessee.